Hi, I'd just like to give you a little update about uh, where we're at now with the Mariachi Library. So I've um, made a few little changes. Uh, we're on the guitar one here, so let me show you what I've done. Uh, so I got rid of that button that was to enable the auto spread mode. That mode is just there by default now. Um, I've also improved the glide uh, or slide, whatever you want to call it. So somebody in the YouTube comments actually said that the slide sounded a bit too smooth. You couldn't hear the frets. So let me just find my sustain pedal. There it is. So um, I've now, I guess, roughed it up a bit. So you get a bit more of that um, um, that sort of jagged sound as, as you slide over each fret. So it's, it's not quite as smooth a sound. And it's a, a bit more realistic now. So I, I think that's a nice little improvement. If we go now to um, the Vuela. So for the Vuela, we recorded a whole new sample set because I wasn't happy with the samples we had. So these these are much nicer. I mean the the other ones were fine. They did they did the job, but the, these are better. We also took the opportunity to record some extra articulations. So previously we had some muted samples, but they were just like a generic mute sound of the of all the strings together. And these are now mapped, actually. We've still got them. They're mapped to these sort of pinkish coloured keys. Uh, so we recorded those generic mutes in the previous um, session we did with the Vuela, but for the new one, we actually recorded um, the muted sound at each in for each individual string at each individual fret. So it's the same as it is for the guitar now. And you can trigger those for the chords. If, if you play a chord, then the black keys above, so C sharp and D sharp, they'll trigger the muted version. We also recorded harmonics. So that's nice. And we recorded left-handed picking. So this is um, a more modern Vuela technique. It's not such a traditional mariachi technique, but some of the younger musicians use this. And it's where they actually pick individual notes using the left hand rather than the usual um, right hand technique that you'd use. And um, so they're plucking them directly on the fretboard. Some of them can actually kind of strum chords and do other picking patterns with the right hand while also playing with the left hand in this technique. It's, it's uh, quite a fancy thing when you, you see it being performed live, but um, we've just got it here as a separate articulation. And these will show up on the fingerboard. Generally, this technique is actually only performed on the first two strings, just because that's how it's easier to play it, like physically. Um, so even though, even though the visual in uh, this instrument is showing them on all the strings, uh, the samples are actually only taken from those first two strings, which is why the hand position slider is disabled for this articulation. Uh, same for the harmonics, we've disabled it, but it will still show all the different frets. So the visuals just to give you an idea of where those notes lie, but um, the actual samples don't correspond to those positions for these two articulations. I don't think there's anything else that we've added to this one. Oh yeah, there is actually, and uh, this is this applies to the guitar as well. So when I was um, playing with the instrument and actually using it in a project, I found that the first string setting that we had, so this is the one that changes um, where the first, which is the first string of a chord. So um, let, let's just demonstrate that. I'll demonstrate on the guitar because we've got an extra string, so it's a bit more visual. So if I play a D chord, ah, C is probably better actually. Okay, so we've got a C chord, which uses all six strings. If I change the first string down in this case, it now doesn't use the lowest string. And previously, um, we just had one value here, which would affect both the strum down 
and the strum up but I found that actually a lot of the time I want to strum all the strings down but a different number of strings coming up so I've added an extra box for this so we can choose those separately now. Uh, so that's the major changes to those two. Then the guitar on is the other big one that uh, was changed. So uh, I just recorded a whole new sample set. I, I really wasn't happy with the original guitar on samples. And that was, I think, actually the first instrument we sampled for this. So we were all getting a bit used to working together and working remotely. Um, so it, it made sense that the first attempt wasn't the best. But these ones I'm really happy with. And we've got it in octaves again. And we also recorded harmonics. I don't think harmonics are actually used very much on the guitar on in mariachi music, but it's um, a nice additional thing to add a bit of colour. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've gone through and uh, balanced the volumes of the various uh, instruments and the different presets. I've adjusted things like the um, ADSR to make those sound a bit better. The room and mid mics are left at the center, but the close mics are positioned kind of how a mariachi lineup often is, but it can vary a lot depending on what instruments they use. So feel free to tweak that however uh, you like. I made some improvements to the two trumpets patch. I wasn't quite happy with how the dynamics were working with this, but it's a bit better now. And that's it for the major changes. It was mostly just getting those uh, new uh, sample sets put in. Other than that, it's just been a case of tweaking all the different instruments and making little improvements here and there adjusting the presets, that kind of thing. And that's an iterative pro process that's going to be ongoing. So at this stage with feature locked, I'm not going to add any new features before the release. Uh, so it's just a case of bug fixing now, if any bugs are found. Um, but so far it seems pretty stable in my tests. So if you find any bugs, please do let me know so I can get those sorted. And if you find any volume inconsistencies, either between articulations or um, it, maybe individual notes stand out, that kind of thing, the usual kind of thing. Uh, just let me know and I'll get that uh, fixed up. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll talk to you soon.